for more than 200 years, a Scots pine that's known as the Lonely Tree has stood high on a hillside in Powys, but the landmark was sadly flattened in the recent storms. Uh, local people wouldn't give up on the tree, though, and hundreds have clubbed together to try and save it. John Ironmonger's reports on this scene on this remarkable rescue effort. Striking, solitary and over the hill, the Scots pine which defined the skyline above Clanfuthlin for generations has finally succumbed to the elements. It was flawed in the recent high winds, leaving a hillside bare and a community heartbroken. But incredibly, two weeks ago, the people of the town hatched a plan to save it. Local councillor and farmer Peter Lewis has agreed to take me up the hill to find out more. It's symbolic to Clamuthlin, the history of Clamuthlin. It's been here for generations, even centuries. So here we are then, Peter, we've made it to the top. And there's the tree. How far up was that then? Well, the tree's about 250 metres. Nicknamed the Lonely Tree, in truth it's anything but lonely. For centuries, people have come here to carve their initials, propose marriage or scatter ashes. But mostly, they just want to give it a hug a tradition which is said to bring good fortune. We've been up here quite often and seen it, and, yeah, we just sort of felt we wanted to come and say goodbye to it today. The fate of the tree has prompted anecdotes and poems from fans all over the world. So you used to go up there as a child? Oh, yes, regularly. Amateur historian Pauline Page-Jones is helping to compile them into a book. I put it on Facebook the day it happened, on the 12th of February, and immediately there was response from all over the world, from people who once lived here and heard about it, but also from strangers too. They were really taken by the story of the lonely tree. Local tree hunter Rob McBride has led the efforts to save the lonely tree and says it's just having a lie down. We're crossing fingers and we're touching wood. That um, The advice from the ancient tree forum to cover as much of the root plate as we can with soil to try and prevent any of the intact roots from drying out. The community rallied round with 30 tonnes of soil. Battling wind and rain, businesses in Clanvuthlin pitched in free of charge and all other costs were underwritten by the council. Two weeks ago the base of this tree was completely exposed and these huge roots, bigger than the size of my arm, which have anchored it in place for more than 200 years, you could see they'd just been ripped out of the ground by the wind, cutting off a vital supply of water and nutrients. But it's hoped that underneath all this fresh soil, there are one or two healthy roots remaining that could just be enough to keep it alive. Hoisting the tree up again wasn't an option. The stress of it could kill the only roots left but new trees could still spring up out of the old. Well, John, this is what we're hoping will happen to the lonely tree. We've got a fantastic example, in fact, the best I've ever seen, of a phoenixed oak. Um, we like to call them phoenix because it's, it's sort of risen again. If the lonely tree can't be rescued, a memorial will be built in its place. But nearly everyone thinks this lucky pine will prevail. John Ironmonger, BBC News, in Clanfuthlin. I'm not sure whether hugging the tree is going to help. <laughs> I'm glad to see he was moving. I was slightly worried for a moment. I thought he collapsed. <laughs>